Hello my dear warriors, this is your Captain Shreyas and today I have not come to sell anything but to talk about the reality, the dark reality of NEET 2024. And if you really have the guts and if you really have the ears to listen to this, then I would request you stay till the end because I have many important questions to ask all of you. And that is very important that each one of us asks these questions. Every one of you should realize all the things that I'm going to talk in this particular video. Starting off with what happened on May 4th. On May 4th and even before that, some students decide that we are going to pay money to some institutes, to some individuals, because they have not prepared well for the exam and they mocked us by sending some experts to the need center instead of them. A clear cut case of impersonation. Just because some people had the power of money. But the good thing is some of them got arrested. Over a dozen of people who were faking their identities, who were writing the exam on behalf of other students, they got arrested. But who knows how many more such people are there? Who knows where and all people just didn't get caught? And there is a famous saying that a thief is not a thief until he is caught. I'll repeat for those of you who did not understand. A thief is not a thief until that thief is caught. So we just do not know how many more people have paid money. Isn't it mocking you? Isn't it an insult to the hardworking poor students, middle class students who cannot afford to pay 10-15 lakhs rupees for somebody else to write exam on their behalf and these students with low scores only will pay money to get admission in those private colleges where you deserve a seat. This is what happened before the exam. What happened on May 5th is even more shocking. Wrong papers were distributed in many, many places across the country. Some places the paper was supposed to come from a particular bank because that's where all the papers are stored but they borrowed the papers from some other bank where the other set was stored. What a mistake and how convenient of the officials to say oh I just got a call from NTA saying you have to take the other paper set from some other bank. Really? Was it the official's mistake? Was it the NTA's mistake? Who knows? We will never know. Many students from Meghalaya suffered because they were given completely wrong set of paper. And when the students questioned, nobody bothered. Parents assembled. They questioned, what is happening over here? Nobody listens. The students from Meghalaya, Tutikuron, Andhra Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Telangana, so many places, they received the paper late. They received a wrong paper. And once they received the wrong paper, the authorities did not admit to it. Rather, they let it happen. And after 30 minutes, after one hour, after one and a half hour, they said, oh, my bad, we gave you the wrong paper. Let's collect it and let's give you the actual set of paper. But the students only got the original time. They got one hour less time to complete the paper. Who is going to talk on their behalf? Who is going to ask on their behalf that this is an injustice for these students? Even if, even if a re-exam is conducted for them, haven't they lost the confidence? Haven't they lost their mental state? What about that? Who is going to bring it back?
and so many places you just open the news be it chatisgarh be it meghalaya be it rajasthan be it bihar so many places this has been happening guys and then as if that was not enough we had the paper leak issue we got immediate notice that the paper was leaked upon digging up further we got to know that some students were handed the question paper in a wrong language and this video went viral how could they even hand a wrong language question paper how could the students be allowed to come out of the examination hall how were they allowed to post the video before the neat exam time i know even if they posted the video other students cannot see it but how are they even allowed supposedly a re exam was conducted what if the re exam which was conducted on that day was very easy for them what if it was more difficult for them who is going to rationalize all of this how are you going to you know put a standard on different levels of paper given to different students even if nta releases multiple answer keys how are you going to judge oh this paper was easy or that paper was difficult if a student scores 600 marks in this paper it is the same as a student scoring 550 marks in this paper at the end of the day marks is going to decide the rank if the questions are difficult obviously you will get low score if the questions are easy obviously you will get high score when you have two different sets of papers with different difficulty students will score differently how will you distribute the ranks is the real question and because we opened up these controversies nta was forced to respond not just as many youtube channels did this so nta came back and replied that you know what the exam was conducted in a fair manner is it really fair i am asking you was the exam fair yes or no put it up in the chat box i am not seeing your emotions guys i am not able to see your emotions are you not are you not feeling bad about this or are you okay with this i want to know i am not provoking you i am just asking simple questions what does it make you feel what is coming from within inside were there people around you who got the wrong paper were there people around you who got the paper late were there people around you who were allowed more time in the exam hall were there incidents of copying or not were there incidents where people paid money and got the paper beforehand or not were there incidents where students impersonated someone or not not feeling okay i can guess that is this really a fair conduct we should be asking this question we should be asking this question and the matter did not end there the matter did not end there there were bonus questions controversy some questions were on the border line some questions people debated that you know this is not in the syllabus my simple question to all of you are you not writing a competitive exam and isn't that what a competitive exam is all about and when you become a doctor are you really going to question it's out of the syllabus i cannot look at this patient or it's on the border line i i cannot do it so guys do you really think border line questions in a competitive exam should be awarded bonus or not that is a question to you i'm not judging i am not answering i am just asking a question if there is a question on alpha beta particles alpha beta particles in nuclear physics i have no idea but same alpha beta particles in magnetism oh i know how to solve the problem is this our attitude towards competitive exam that's the real question and if the bonus is awarded what about those students who thought about that question who knew about that question who had an extra edge over there and were able to go ahead 
and why create such questions in the first place right why create those kind of questions in the first place what about re-exam what about re-exam let's say re-exam is conducted what about those students who scored 600 plus 550 plus who are very happy right now that okay at least i'll be getting some good college now imagine going through the same process again and writing for that re-exam then some students will be like sir only where there was a problem let's conduct a re-exam let's say a re-exam happens in only those places where there were issues what if they get an easy paper what if they get a difficult paper how will you judge is my real question was this all necessary in the first place why all this confusion and as we speak students who want to reappear for NEET 2025 are confused whether I should take a drop, whether I should wait for results, what is happening, shall I write the re-exam or not or will there be a re-exam or not, will there be bonus or not, that hope is still alive, that flame is still burning, NEET 2024 is not over yet and that's the worst part. What about the cutoffs? Because of the competition increase, because the paper level was easy, so the cutoffs are going high. This year, the expected government college cutoff will be more than 615, 620. In fact, a safe score for unreserved candidate might be as high as 625 to 630 also. But that is a rare chance. But on the safer side, at least bare minimum 615 to 620 is the bare minimum. There will be many students above 700. There will be many students who will be scoring really high. So, I as a teacher, I as a mentor, I on behalf of all the students would like to ask all the students, what do you want? Do you want a re-exam? Do you want bonus? Do you want re-exam to be conducted only in certain places? Do you want the authorities who did all these things to be punished? Do you want the students to be punished? Do you want to run behind everyone? Do you want to prepare for NEET 2025? Do you want to look at other options which are around you? And by the way, there is a video also for that. If you are interested to look at other options, it was made just yesterday all the different career options after NEET, right from B Pharma, BDS, BMS, BHMS. You can check out this video definitely, right? So, what should one be doing? That's the real question here. Should you be also asking questions to the authorities is the real question here. I end it at this point and if you think these were the right questions, make sure you have liked the video, share it with your friends, and also subscribe to the Vedantu Need English channel. I, as always, I am going to be the captain of the ship. And you are my crew. And I need to make sure that I lead you to the right destination, even when the seas are rough. Thank you so much. This is Captain Shreya signing off. Hasta la vista. Do let me know in the comments. Take care.